Um, so based on this diagram here, I've got my reverser, which is a simple double throw or a double pull double throw switch. Hang on, focus. All right, we've got our actual reverser, which is just two double pull double throw relays that are wired together. Um, yeah, so in theory, one neither or uh, both cannot be on at the same time. But there's that momentary blip there if you don't stop. Um, in other words, if you're going full tilt and then you flip direction, it'll make some nasty sounds, um, which I may demonstrate for you as well. But so from there, we've got, of course, lead to our trusty motor. Um, and, of course, our power supply, which is currently running it at 12 volts and about 1 amp, just to keep it uh, safe. Well, not that it's going to hurt anyone, but that's where we'll start. Um, power is on. All right. So, if I recall, yes, yeah, so here's my preferred forward direction, and I need 12 volts to actually energize the relay, uh, but afterwards I can actually drop it back down uh, to about 3 volts to illustrate. I know the motor will start at 1 volt, provided I have enough current, uh, but anyways, so this is what I'm terming forward right now, and I'll just, uh, oh, no, sorry, I'm manipulating amperage now. I'll bring down the voltage, and you'll hear the motor slow down. Let's get it down to about four or so volts. I, I suppose I could just do V set four as well. And here you go. So that's this direction. And I can try to slow it down for you. And actually, see, notice I slowed it down enough. It's almost got a sort of a stall safe feature, if you will. It stalled and the contacts are dropped, um, if you heard that. Let me take it back up to 12 volts here so you can get that again. All right, so we're at 12 volts, uh, up to an amp. But uh, as you see, it's somewhere around 3 or 4 tenths of an amp. Um, but anyway, so... When I apply more resistance, amperage goes high, voltage drops a little bit, but I have not been able to stall this motor yet. Now if I change the voltage to say 5 volts, motor is significantly slower, um, amperage is eh, decent I guess. Now you just listen very clear, carefully, you'll, I'll stop it and you'll hear the tick. That's the relay dropping out. Um, because it's not enough voltage at 5 volts to sustain it, but when the motor is running, it's fine. Um, I'm sure somebody else can explain the electrical theory behind that, but uh, I'm not an electrical engineer, just a, a guy who enjoys a hobby. Um, so that's that's uh, forward. All right. So if I center off, you notice it dies right here. No spin. 11.99 volts, zero amps. Let's go the other way. And yes, it is running the other way. It's about 12 volts, same uh, 3 or 4 tenths of an amp. I'll V set to 5 again so that you can see it spinning now in the opposite direction. Notice it's taking my finger counterclockwise, so it's actually spinning this way. And if I stop it again, you see the relay drops out. The, the other thing you heard back there is the fire protection system. <laughs> um, but you see the relay here drops out. Uh, let's bring it back up to 12 volts. Enter. Alright. Let's do 24 volts so you can hear this thing full bore. That's full speed. These motors are 24 volt DC motors. That's full speed. The amperage has only increased about half an amp. Um, but again, this is no load. I like that sound. <laughs> All right, now let's center off, and it's because it's only one amp, there shouldn't be that much torque, but you see a little bit of torque there. And I flip direction, stop it again. Now if I put it to 3 amps, you'll see some real torque. There you go. I'll stop it, and again, some more real torque. <laughs> Yeah, so these motors are pretty torquey. They're rated, uh, they're supposed to, they like 4 amps, I guess, um, or starting, uh, or peak current, I forget which it is, but 
the four amps um, is where they do the best. But I mean, I guess with some load, will you will vary and whatnot. But uh, that's the basic controls. Now I have to figure out soft start um, so that you know if an operator starts with the throttle at zero and of course cranks it really fast and hard it still takes a few seconds so it doesn't just you know start at a spin it takes a few seconds instead to build up um, and then there's the ever complex either dynamic or regenerative braking I kinda like the idea of dynamic braking because really with battery powered things regenerative braking is gonna be very uh, very it's in, it's infinitesimal I mean it's it's almost immeasurable because of the fact that uh, physics do not scale um, very well. Alright, well, taking up about six minutes of your time here. Um, that's about it. Um, so again, power supply, leads, of course, there's the control circuit back here, which is just the quote-unquote, you know, reverse handle, if you will, and then there's the actual drive. Yes, it's the same size cable right now, this is just a lab situation. It'll be far heavier cable. Um, then you have that mess in there, which I'm sure I could explain if I, if you wanted to know. But uh, that's that. All right. See you next time.